Man, this game is really easy. No, no, no. Are you serious? How's it going everyone, Tyson Gaming here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke. But not only that, welcome to the third hour of power of this series. Uh, if you guys don't know, the reason I'm doing two hours of powers this week is because I missed all of last week's episodes, mainly because I was sick, and now obviously I'm just making up for lost time. Um... If you guys like this series, make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, because I plan to upload this series every Tuesday and Thursday, as long as I'm able to, of course. And obviously, if I miss any more episodes, I'll do another hour of power. But I plan to do at least one more guaranteed hour of power before the series end. ends. Probably around when I get to like the Sith. The, 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 not the sixth, the sixth gym is kind of when I plan to do another one. But with all that, for all those formalities out of the way, let's get into today's episode. So the plan for today's episode is since now I have the third gym badge and can use Rock Smash, my plan is to go to the Venom Turf Tunnel so I can get strength and teach it to teach it to Kenya so he has another move. And obviously stop at Rustboro so I can get the XP share so I can add Striker to the team. If you guys don't know who Striker is, he is the Charmander I caught last episode. I'm gonna add that to the team, and I'm gonna head back through Rust Rust not, not Rustboro, Venom Turf Tunnel, and then just make our way to the fourth gym. I would like to at least get to Lava Ridge Town today. Obviously, if I ever have enough time, I'll take on the fourth gym. But the main goal is to obviously Get through one all through here. Deal with what you call over here? The Mount Falls. It's called something Falls. Meteor Falls. That's what it's called. Get through all the Meteor Falls stuff. Take care of Mount Chimney with Team Magma. Then obviously just get the Lava Ridge down. All right. And with that, let's get cracking. Let's get her on. Use my bike because now I can do that and get really really fast. Anyways, how are you, how's your guys' days going? Mine's going really good. It is really windy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but if you hear any loud whooshes at all, that's the wind. Master Ball attempt. So, uh, Master Ball. I saw the MA and my heart stopped. There's so many items in here with MA, and I don't like it. I got a Bailey, but unfortunately I can't catch it because this is where I caught my Rhyhorn. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I needed to teach someone Rock Smash, that's right. Uh, and yeah, oh yeah, and because of the emulator, I can teach anyone any HM. So I think I'm gonna teach Mist Rock Smash since obviously I'm gonna trade Mist out for Striker. Yep, I shattered the boulder. Now we have strength, so Kenya has an actually really has a good move now. Like not saying any of his fighting type moves are bad, but obviously they're all a little low power. I'm gonna quickly teach Kenya strength. Um let's get her to focus energy. Alright, cool. Like obviously, obviously it doesn't help Kenya with, uh, with ghost types at all, but I'm gonna have all my other Pokemon to do with that. Hello, sir? It always feels rewarding to go to a city you already been through. Oh. Now I gotta go over here. Yeah, because all I have to do is talk to Mr. Stone to get the XP share now, right? I've never actually done this with do any of my playthroughs of Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. Yep. Okay, yeah, that is how that works. Never mind. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That is how that works. Like, I knew I can get an XP share, but 
again. Through all my playthroughs of Gen 3, I've never went and got it. Mainly because I've really never came back here. Well, I mean, the only time I ever quote-unquote did go back to that place is when I had to revive the fossil to get Amaranth. Which, ooh, we can get the fossil soon, which is a randomized encounter. Okay, let's move. Pokemon. Striker, you're coming on board. Mist, you're going in the box. I know people are saying, but, but Tyson, you, the reason you got rid of your Growl is because you don't need two fire types. Maritortis, yes, I know I don't need two fire types, but at the same time, it's a Charizard. Future Charizard, mind you. And I would be a fool to not at least have it on the team. Until I get something like a Legendary or something, then I will trade out Striker. But until then, he's on the team mainly because of my selfish desires. Because I like Charizard, and any chance to have him on my team, I'm gonna bring him. It's as simple as that. Level 6 already? Perfect, perfect. Oh, wait, I didn't battle this trainer? I thought I beat other trainers. Oh well. Oh well. I guess. 3 XP for Striker. Because obviously this isn't going to really do anything for my main team members. Ooh, Emperor, perfect. Uh, camera up. That's what I kind of need. I need a uh, water type. I need a water type badly. Burn doesn't do residual damage in the overworld like Poison does, does it? I don't think it does. But then that's easy striker. And plus the sunlight. Oh yeah. You got a striker. Soon you'll be a powerful Charizard and be leading this team with alongside Natsu. Alright now to answer my question, does burn Okay, Burn doesn't do residual damage like Poison does in the overworld. Right? Okay, good. Like, I knew it could. Oh, speaking of Poison. Thanks, Drowsy. It's fine, we're right, right, we're right next to Benetur Town. So it's not bad. Right, that's just for, yeah, that's just for Growlithe now. I know I said I was going to try to lay out the speed up button with... I could have gotten a Mew in here? Hello. Again, I love and hate going to old places where I've been and gone encounters. Because I could always... Because I always see what else I could have gone and get instantly jealous. Because again, I could have gotten a Mew. And for all I know, Mewtwo is in there too. But you know what? I'm happy with my Rhyhorn. My huge power Rhyhorn. But at the same time, just like... I kind of got the Mew, and that is a very big could have gotten, because Mew does not have the best catch rate, so I probably wouldn't have been able to catch it anyways, because I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't, didn't have that many Pokeballs at the time, so oh well. I'd definitely say a huge power Rhyarm is probably best case scenario. Oh wait, I need to teach someone else Rock Smash. I need to teach someone else Rock Smash now because I need to get through. I need to get through to the route above. Uh, I didn't think about that one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, who am I teaching Rock Smash to? Uh, let's teach it to Rhyhorn just so then he has another. a different type move. Um. Yeah, he doesn't need Fury Attack. Alright, cool. Let's keep moving then. Ooh, and I can get a Rock Smash encounter. Um, so yeah, here's the other thing. Do I do the Wind Straight Challenge? Ah, uh, I'm gonna say no for now, at least. While that would probably be a lot of good money and experience, I don't want to risk it in case, obviously, they have something major. Nope, no encounter. Nope, no encounter. Alright, cool. 
That's fine, I didn't want any more Pokemon anyways. Wait, isn't this the same route as the desert area? Ooh, if it is, I probably shouldn't get an encounter here then. Because I'm gonna need to get an encounter where it actually matters. Because if memory, yeah, memory serves. Once I do all this stuff and beat the fourth gym and get the goggles so I can go in the desert area, that'll be the only new encounter I get before the fifth gym. Which, by the way, I'm gonna have a big grinding montage before the fifth gym. Because I don't trust like that. Norman's always really scary. At least he won't have a Slack King this time. Well, hopefully, at least. If he has a Slack King again, I'm gonna be very scared. Because obviously in this game, well, this, this version of the game, my randomized version, I should say, uh, Slack King's not gonna have true ones, because his, he'll have a new randomized ability. And knowing my luck, it's gonna be huge power or something. And that's gonna be absolutely terrifying. I probably should, yeah, I'm gonna check out this battle to see if this route and the desert area are the same route. Hmm, paralyze him. Because I know you have confusion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Not so you got this, bud. One good Ember attack under, under the sun and you should be, yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, you're fine, buddy. Anyways, uh, quick check. Yeah, the desert area is the same as this route, so I don't want to get any encounters. But this, however, is a totally new route. And... Fair game. I'm probably gonna use a quick super potion on that too. I'm probably gonna need it later, but you know, we'll deal with it when we get it when we get there. Alright, new encounter, what we got? A slow bro, hello. And I did see I needed a water type Pokemon. But obviously since Growlithe has drought, water types are not gonna be that useful. I'll at least catch him. Um. Alright, Jack, don't kill it. I'm probably gonna regret using. Then we go back. Then we'll switch back to Corellus. I guess they're training up Jack, too, and then I really think about it. Uh, ooh, I gotta buy more Pokeballs, too. Lobo, get in the poke, get in the ball, thank you. Um, what am I gonna call, I'm gonna name him Slow. Wait. Yep, cause he's slow, slow bro. Alright, let's do this. Making our way. Keep making our way. See that? That's all for Jack. Job striker and Jack should get yeah not a lot. Barboach. Well, like can you deal with it? We haven't seen him in a while. We'll get him, bud. Let's try our new move. Hmm. 
Alright, let's see. I have. What's that, what's that cave coming up called again? Oh, yeah, the Fiery Path. God, it's been a while since I've played Gen 3. Yeah, because, let's see, it would be roughly a year since I did my Pokemon Emerald Live series. And God, that was a rough series, too. Yeah, that would have been the last time I played Gen 3. So that's good. Aaron. Get well, not to it. Oh, cool. A Jirachi. Yeah, Natsu, you're, you're my best bet here, bud. And this is another reason why I kind of want to get uh, Charizard. Because obviously Natsu is good. Like, trust me, he's amazing. But a lot of Steel types in this generation are also Psychic types. And obviously Natsu would, I mean, Charizard would be able to deal with them a lot easier than Natsu can. Plus, I have Drought on Growlithe, so might as well have another fire type. And speaking of fire types, hello, Charmeleon. Finally, getting an, an actual evolution in the series. Charmeleon, what is your new? Oh. I mean, it'll change again when he evolves into Charizard. That is kind of bad. Oh, wait, I should probably. I should probably actually go get more Pokeballs, because again, we're about to have a lot of encounters before we get to. Is it Lava Ridge? Yeah, no, Lava Ridge is 4th Gen. Not 4th Gen. 4th Gym. Is it Fall Arbor Town? Yeah, it's Fall Arbor Town that we're heading to next. And obviously, I'm need, there's a, quite a few encounters on the way. So I'm going to need to get a, quite a few Pokeballs before I head over there. So let's head on our way. Let me stop over here real quick. Use this speed up button. And blessing and curse. Uh yeah, let's let me, let's get yeah, 14 more. And then the rest in super potions. So we can keep stocked up. Alright, now let's head back. Head back on our way, the fiery path. I should probably try not to come back through here anymore. Just because, again, the Rock Smash could easily lead to an encounter, and that would forfeit my Desert Area encounter, because Route 111 and the Desert Area are the same routes. But however, Fiery Path? Fair game. Come on, Legendary. And we got a Krabby. In all these water types, and as bad as I probably need one, again, my team is set up for fire type Pokemon. Other then you're a Pokeball and perfect. You know what? I'm gonna be very creative with this one. Name him Krabby. This is a very creative name. Very creative. What else? what else can I get in here besides a Krabby? A Fable. Eh. Decent mom, but not the best. Fortunately, I can't get another encounter here because this is the same route where we got Slowbro. Okay, I don't want to deal with this trainer because whenever I play through normally, this trainer always gives me trouble. Look away, and see ya. 
Hopefully this is a randomized TM because this is usually secret power. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, waterfalls. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I also just realized I don't have the HN for cuts, but it's fine because I don't need it. I'm gonna talk to you. Alright. Now that we're healed up and ready to rock and roll, let's uh let's send Jack out for a little experience, because again we gotta train him up. Then take on the H trainer. Do, 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 do. minutes into the... That's a hell. I needed it. But again, at this level, hello shouldn't know really anything that's scary yet. It's just gonna know. All it's gonna know is basically that at this point. It's fine. Horsey, I'm gonna switch back out to Jack. Anyways, yeah, we're already 20 minutes in, into this episode. I don't... Well, we might just make it to... We just might just make it to Fall Harbor Town. Fall Harbor Town. Lava Ridge. Oh god, I am... I'm forgetting just everything. Alright, 113. This is a new encounter area, so... Growl, you gotta head back up front, bud. This was always my favorite route to go through. It's just something different. Ooh. Hello, Haunter. I'm gonna hit you with a Thunder Wave. And now, Growlithe can't escape. I don't think Sparkle kill. Okay, good. Ooh, and I can get a Gengar if I really wanted to. Because again, possible evolutions are turned off. So I don't need to trade in order to get a Haunter, a Haunter, or a Gengar. All I have to do is uh, train Haunter to level, I think, level 37? No sus. That's fine. I'm gonna name him Danny, because he, cause he's a ghost, Danny Panther. Alright, switch track back in, and let's keep him moving. Hello there. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Because of the volcanic ash. I th actually, now that I think about it, I feel like this area would be very detrimental to one's health. Well, hello, Raichu. Goodbye, Raichu. Hello, Raihorn. And unfortunately now, Raichu cannot do anything to me. Striker's up there in level now. He can handle it. I mentioned this is four times effectiveness. So yeah, he can get his own experience for now at least. Let's see here. Yeah, so Striker's now caught up with the rest of the team. I'll then switch the XP share to Jack. We'll keep going. After we get that developer, that would've been nice. But again, I think Haunter is definitely good, because again, future Gengar. Shrimish. As much as I would love to have a Breloom, again, I don't need another fighting type, because I have two already. I always make that mistake when I go through here. Never fails. Alright, that was embarrassing. Let's try that again. Ariyama would have been nice, but again, don't need a fighting type. I'm gonna go over here now so I don't can't go back over the ledge. 
Citrus Berry. Probably nice for when I get the Elite Four. Yeah, definitely seeing that Haunter is prob was probably the best uh, encounter I could have gotten here. I can't do anything to you, but Kenya can. I think I could just barely get over to Lava Ridge. Oh, at least 114 is going to be a new encounter area, so that'll be good. How much money do I have? I'll buy some more Pokeballs just to be on the safe side. You can never have enough Pokeballs, trust me, you. You can never have too many Pokeballs in a Nuzlocke challenge. Because the minute you run out is when you know you're going to encounter a super hype Pokemon. Maybe a Legendary or another starter. Okay, you're going to TM. What we got this time? TM5, was it? Ooh, Psybeam. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I have that move for Shockwave. Hello. I was just thinking I would really need Shockwave. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of Spark. I'll say like I could really use Shockwave considering May's Quillfish. Obviously, I'll Water type, but also knows Minimize. Obviously, now since I have an Electro type with Shockwave, that's not gonna bother me anymore. Not that we're gonna see May or Quillfish anytime soon, because we're not gonna see her again until just before the sixth gym. So not for a while. All right, encounter. White screen is usually a good sign for something good. Eh, sea King. Not good. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. I will definitely catch it. Alright, and then... Go Great Ball, please, Sea King. Just go into the ball, no troubles whatsoever. We actually have another encounter right away at uh, Meteor Falls, or wherever we're going. Sea King, get in the ball. Thank you. I'm gonna name him Gold... I'm gonna name him Gold since he's the Goldfish Pokemon, I guess. Alright. Then we're gonna take on this double battle. Get some more money and experience. Natsu, that's fine, we'll just double target the Executor. Perfect, perfect. Then double target Breath Pro. I need to get a new Fire type move for Natsu soon. I could have gotten a Dragonite. I could have gotten Spyro. I'm very disappointed, as you can now tell. Dang. 
Oh well, I mean, Sea King is a good Pokemon. And obviously, Dragonite is an amazing Pokemon, but uh, he doesn't get any good usable moves, at least for him, anyways, until much later. Like, level 50 is when he gets... Yeah, like, level 50 is when he'll get... Like, his dra like Outrage and whatnot. That's fine, because I got Rhyhorn. <laughs> Golly, I put speed up on for a bit, even though it's probably very useful and imperative that I do use it, so I can get to where I want to plan to end the episode today. But it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Mask Rain, that's easy work. Pyro, that's more easy work. And I'm gonna use a Super Potion on Jack, because I, I just got a Carbo, so we got more money. So I can easily just throw the money around now. And oh, now we got Meteor Falls. Have to be careful because I know up here is an item. Master Ball. Sea Incense, which increases water type moves. Which I don't have. But you know what? That's fine. Hello, Gol. Wait. Do you have Explosion Golem? I'm very scared of this Golem because I feel like he has Explosion. I feel like he has self-destruct or explosion. So I must proceed very carefully, which is why Rhyhorn's out here. Okay. Golem, please go and wait. No, Golem, Graveler, and Geodo don't learn it until like your 20s. So I don't think Golem here is going to have explosion or self-destruct. I think as of right now, yeah, he's just gonna have tackle, rock throw. Yeah, all he's all he should have is just rock throw, tackle, and mud sport. On Mamum Rock. If he's the rock. Wait no. No. Yeah, I'm gonna name name him Rock. Because he is the rock. I think that's how you spell that right. I don't know. I'm not sure. My cargo. My cargo is fast. Put up an OK on counter, but again, don't need a fire type because I have three now. Hello there. Hello, Archie. Thank you, Archie. Bye bye. Talk to you. You know, we gotta head to Mount Chipney, which. Yeah, the fastest way there is just to head down. So, we gotta fight Maxi, who should be like, what, level 25 or so? So, I should probably train up Natsu and Jack. Again, this is the real problem with trying to build a well-diverse team, is that XP gets very sharp beat. Hello? Sorry to lose my train of thought, but here you go, Jack. I know you have the XP share, but you don't really need it anymore. Let's battle this guy. You, fight me. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. I don't think that's healthy, sir. Like a 
I'm not gonna lie, I really don't think busting your forehead is healthy. Like, I'm no doctor, but I do not believe that it's a healthy thing to do. Ooh. And this right here is the scariest Pokemon in all of in any game, no matter what type of Nuzlocke you're doing. Why not? And Wobbuffet are incredibly scary. Because if you don't one-shot them, they will kill something. Because again, they both have Counter and Mirror Coat, so you have to make sure that your, their defenses are lowered as much as possible, and then spray. Alright, good. Because I can't... Because I can't tell you how many Pokemon I've lost to either Wobbuffet or why not. Because I didn't one-shot them and they just used counter and there goes my Pokemon. Another... I saw MA again and I got so excited because I thought it was a Master Ball. But anyways, yeah. Why not some Wobbuffet's bane of my existence. It's fine, I don't think this team will have too, too much trouble with them if I do encounter them again. Heal up, and now we gotta head over to... Um, let's see here... We're about 40 minutes in. I think, yeah, I think we'll make it to where I want to end. I think we'll make it to Ball with Ball Arbor... Wait, no. Not Ball Arbor, not. It's Lava Ridge. I keep getting all my names mixed up. Lava Ridge. Lava Ridge, Lava Ridge. Well, Lava Ridge is where we're going, and hopefully I don't stumble over my words anymore, because English is a very hard language to speak for me, apparently. Alrighty, speed up, and oh, we gotta go do another Rock Smash. Oh god, please don't encounter anything, or if we do, let it be a legendary. Alright, cool. Let's see here, do we have... No, we don't have any encounters over here anymore except for the desert area. I go up here. Hello there, sir. Please look away. Okay, cool. Now we head to take the cable car and head on up. And we gotta fight Maxi. This is... This is this Maxi fight is always very scary. It is windy out there. I don't know, again, I don't know if that's getting picked up for you guys, but it is really, really windy out there. Like, it's just a bowl and... Hello, Maxi? I mean, not Maxi, Archie. Dang, I'm even getting, I'm even, I'm even getting the leaders mixed up. At least I know this is Team Magma. Alright, Team Magma, what do you, what do you got? What do you have... For me, Bayonet, which I can't do anything to. Um, Growl is probably my best bet. With a Thunder Wave, so we can't do anything, and then just Shockwave. Steelix, yes, we're definitely switching out back to Kenya. Alright, Kenya, let's see if you can one shot this. Little kick, you probably should be able to. Yeah. God, Kenya is so good. He's such a good Pokemon. 71 attack. Yeah, he's so good. What's your. Oh, yeah, that's your ability. Are all my abilities again? Alright, cool. I keep forgetting what all my abilities were. I keep forgetting everything that's going on today. Alrighty. What do you got for me, Tabitha? Or that's how you say your name, right? Geodude. Um. Yeah, double kick should, yeah, double kick should kill. You're just a Geodude. You're not a Graveler or a Golem yet. But obviously, now if I start seeing Golems and stuff around this level is when I should start fearing for explosion or self-destruct. Because again, I can't underestimate Pokemon, no matter what level they are, if they can learn self-destruct, they probably know it. I can't forget the, what I learned from May, especially due to the coughing incident in last episode. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen last episode, May had a coughing and she self-destructed on my Pokemon. Hello, 
a maxi. Let's battle. Line is everything. Yep, cool. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ella Kid. Shouldn't do anything to me. Oh, you will speed me. That's nice. Uh, that should be a potion. Too bad I don't have Brick Rick. That's gonna be very annoying, especially if he has a Kyogre or something. Uh, Volbeats should be easy. Let's switch over to Rhyarn. Okay, 24. I think this is his ace then. Yeah, because yeah, 24 should be his highest. Let's see if 24 or 25 is his highest level. Yeah, so this should be his ace Pokemon. Right, then it's just Trico, so everything's fine. Oh, so Trico is his ace then. Alright, so Maxi Fight, easy. Man, this game is really easy. I'm gonna say that I say that now and uh Flannery is just gonna have something like a crowd on. Hello, Archie. <laughs> yep, we shall meet again, and now... Yes, I will take the meteorite. And hey, now we have another encounter attempt, at least. Let me switch growth up front. And I'll need to train up the team a bit before I take on the fourth Gym. Let's see here. We're at about 45 minutes or so. So yeah, I'll go on for another another 15. Uh, let's, let's get the encounter in this patch of grass. I have a good feeling. On something good. Yeah. I mean, who has? Rizzle. Interesting. Actually, that's very bad for Soul Rock, considering it's a rock type. Ooh, and you have confusion already. That's not. That's no bueno. All right. Soul Rock has been captured, and I just name it Sun. And we're gonna switch from you back to Royhorn. And oh, I want that item. Hello, sir. Good place for training. I can see that. All right. Uh, change the plans. We're not gonna switch. Striker, you got this. No, you don't got this. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna lose something to this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna potion pop real quick. I don't trust. Okay, good. Uh, get with that good old. Serious? I didn't. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow, okay.
Well then, that was very oh okay. I can't believe I just lost Natsu. That was that was devastating. And if it was a crit too, that then that that crit definitely mattered. That crit definitely mattered. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, th there was nothing I could do there. Striker, all the all the rest of my Pokemon were too weak, so something was gonna die. I could have tried to get an attack off with Striker, but obviously he would just would have ended up dead too. Wow, that sucks. That sucks. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of upset about that. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh crap. Yeah, so it's a good thing I've decided to uh, train up Striker at least. saying much now. I'm actually just taken aback by that. I can't believe that just happened. That was... Yeah, that was just bad. Again, that was obviously partially my fault. And there was then there was obviously nothing I could have done there. Natsu was my best, my best option for taking out that Executor, because obviously Striker was over half health down. I really couldn't do much. Wow, that sucked. That sucked. Well, there's my devastating loss of the series, I guess. Still, yeah, no, I gotta train up Striker fast. I gotta get that Charizard. Um, okay, I gotta, t okay, I gotta take my mind off that. So I'll start, take start taking on the gym. Just... Just, wow, that was... That was really bad. That was really, really bad. Oh. Wow. I'm actually, yeah, I'm a dead skip with that one. That was a... No, that's fine. Obviously, not to put in a lot of work. But, I mean, I still have both Kenya and Striker, so I have two Pokemon that can still do his job. But again, that, that was just... Natsu is such a carry, man. That, that sucks. <laughs> I just can't get over that. Wow. Maybe if I had leveled up, leveled up Natsu a little bit more, but I mean, I can't believe I lost him to a random trainer. Alright, so, obviously I got to where I wanted before I end the episode, but I'm sure as heck not taking on the gym. Especially not before I train up the team again. Yeah, I need to majorly train up the team if I'm gonna take on the gym. Like, my team needs to at least be level 2, all need to be level 26 across the board before I even consider stepping back into the gym. 
is I definitely need to win this Nuzlocke now, for Natsu's sake. Like, he put in so much work, I am not losing. I am not losing for his sake. And, and there should be a, a ton of trainers for me to fight yet. But, wow, that... That just sucks. Oh god. Not again. I'm not losing anyone else. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not talking much anymore. I'm still just just taken aback by that loss. Cause, yeah, because there was nothing I could have done there. All the fast majority of the Pokemon were either weakened or couldn't do nothing to that to that executor, or was just weak to psychic. Yeah, this guy. Not again. Thank you, Striker. Chimeco. Yes, yeah, psychic types are such a problem for my team. There's no one on my... Because every single Pokemon I have on my team either has weak special defense or is just weak to Psychic types. And of course he's confused again. Nina Rina, this is the whole reason why I even brought you. Yeah, psychic, psychic types in general are just so bad for me right now. They are so, so bad. Because again, I have Kenya who's weak to it. Rhyhorn and Jack, who both have basically zero special defense. My only options to them would obviously be to get Striker to evolve into Charizard, but that's not going to happen for quite a while yet. But just. Did I battle you already? Wow. Yeah, that was... I mean, it's, I mean, the episode started off pretty good, but... Dang. Oh yeah, Trinita Arena's dead now. Dang. Sorry, uh, wow. Okay, um... And not to your come with me. I'm not gonna get a new team member just yet. I probably should. So I'm just gonna keep bringing Death Fodder around just in case I need a clean switch in and out. But... Wow. That was just... I mean, obviously there were stuff I could have done differently, but I mean, again, Natsu was just my best choice for that situation, but you know what? I'm not gonna get bummed out by it anymore. Natsu would obviously want to continue onward and just keep going. I'm gonna buy some more Super Potions, and then since we're about at the hour mark, I'm gonna call the episode here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Again, I can't believe I just lost Natsu. That was... That was bad. That was just very, very bad. But it's fine. We're still alive. He will always be with us during this journey. Because, obviously, we still have Kenya and Stryker who can easily do his job.
but yeah, still, still sucks. Still sucks. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, or the, at least this hour of power, make sure you hit the like button. Also, can I get an F in the comment section for Natsu, man? He did not deserve to go out like that to a crit. And of course it was a crit. Oh, that just goes to show you that the only way not to take it out is, is by a crit. But yeah, I know. F in the comment section. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because we'll be back next Tuesday for the next episode. And I am definitely doing another training montage at the beginning of that episode, so I can be ready for the fourth gym. And so I just don't have to deal with that again, because I'm not losing this challenge. I'm going to win it for not soon. But anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace.